How to prepare projected financial statements in Excel spreadsheet? We will learn part wise in this series of video. In the today's video, we will learn how to prepare projected income statement based on recent past financial statements, information, management assumption, and relevant other financial information. Okay. So first, let's take a look on a recent past financial. All right. You can see we have all four recent financial statement. That is income statement, a statement of changes in the shareholder equity, cash flow statement, and balance sheet. Okay. Now let me tell you one thing here. We will only focus on income state statement because in this video we will prepare projected income statement only okay so now let's start all right here in this sheet you can see that we have brought the past financial information of income statement that is these sections okay and presented some projections that is this one and relevant fund information that is this one okay now before i start to calculate the value of all the component of income statement that is this one i would like to tell you one thing here under the adjustment section so first sales growth the percentage of sales growth has determined based on average growth rate of sales revenue in the last five years second the percentage of cost of goods sold and operating ex expenses has determined based on current sales revenue that is 2020 first sales revenue okay so we will calculate these two value based on sales revenue of respective year okay Third, the value of annual depreciation on ppe that is property plant and equipment has determined by using the street line depreciation method which is this one okay for the value of annual amortization expenses on preliminary expenses as 20,000 that has determined by using flat rate of 5% okay and we have a you know corporate tax rate 25% which will be you know, used on EBT that is earning before tax that is this value now fifth one we have a you know a bank term loan yearly EMI statement that represents the total interest and total principal okay and this is the sum of you know these two value the total interest and total principal have a different values over the year these values are calculated by using the monthly loan amortization schedule and convert it into yearly one okay in this statement we have a we have a 80 lakh rupees loan amount borrowed at 12 percent interest rate per annum for the 15 years you can see here all right so this is the you know basic information about our adoption and available financial information now let's calculate the value of each component of income statement okay so um, based on this information or instructions okay so first let's calculate the you know sales revenue it can be calculated by as like this so press the equal to sign now click this one times press the open parenthesis now press the value one plus and select this one that is sales growth rate and now fix this sale by pressing the fok okay? okay now press the close parenthesis now press the enter key all right now click here and drag from left to right all right now let's calculate the cost of goods sold and it can be calculated by simply using this percentage okay based on this value okay so press the equal to sign now click this one times click here and now press the fo key to absolute reference now press the enter key all right now click here and now drag from here to here now for gross profit you can be you know simply subtract the cost of goods sold from the sales revenue so click this one minus this one now press the enter key now click here and drag from here to here okay now for operating expenses it can be calculated by using this percentage on this value sales revenue okay so press the equal to sign now click here time click here and now let's fix this you know sale by pressing the fo key okay now press the enter key all right now click here and drag from here to here all right and uh, for EBI TDA, it can be calculated by simply subtracting the you know operating expenses from the gross profit. So click this one minus this one. Now press the enter. Now click here and now drag from left to right. Now for depreciation and amortization, we have already the calculated value. So we have to just you know find the value from the adjustment and put here. Okay. So you can see that we have you know annual depreciation expenses is this one 
and amortization this one let me tell you one thing here we have to you know put the value as a combined row because we have you know the depreciation and amortization because both depreciation and amortization value represented together okay so we have to you know put the value same as the previous one okay so press the equal to sign so write the sum function so type the sum function okay now press the tab and now select from here to here now press the f key to absolute reference now press the close parenthesis now press the enter key all right now click here and drag from left to right okay now for evit it can be simply calculated by subtracting this value from this okay so press the equal to sign now click this one minus this one now press the enter key now click here drag from left to right all right now for interest expenses we have to you know put the value from the our you know bank term loan statement okay so for this let's first you know identify the you know interest amount from this one okay so first let's identify the in total interest amount for this year so we can see that we have you know nine lakh forty nine thousand seventy point seven at the total interest in this year okay so you can see that this one that means we have already used this value now we have to you know put the value from here to down okay so first let's you know click here and let's you know bring these value here and then we will you know copy this value and paste here okay so let's you know identify the value from here so 923313.81 824733.44 and uh, 7832070.38 you can see that okay uh, now let's select this one now press the control c to copy it now click here and now press control v and click this arrow and okay click on transpose all right you can see that and select this one and now let's change this format from you know general to accounting okay now let's you know change this format so select this one and now let's click on format painter and select this one all right and now click this one and now press the control b to remove the bold all right now for ebt it can be calculated by simply subtracting the interest amount from the ebit okay so press the equal to sign now select this one minus this one now press enter key. now click here and drag from left to right all right now for tax expenses it can be calculated by simply using this percentage over this value okay so press the equal to sign now click this one times this one and now let's fix this cell by pressing the f4 key now press the enter key now click here and drag from left to right all right now for eat it can be simply subtracting the value tax ex expenses from the ebt okay so press the equal to sign now select this one minus this one now press the enter key now click here and drag from left to right all right you can see that all right so guys and now select this one now press the delete button from your keyboard to remove this value okay now you can see that we successfully prepared the you know income statement now we have the statement of changes shareholders equity okay so for that statement stay tuned we will meet in the next video that's all for now thanks for watching this video if you find it useful please hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe to this channel see you in the next video signing off